being at its best, the Westcott Nation represents being open to possibilities, being open to try different things. I'm generally credited with coining it. Whether or not that's historically correct remains to be seen. I'm the first person I ever heard that used it. And when I used it, it was a spin on the phrase of Woodstock Nation. I first lived on South Prouse Ave, um, you know, not too far from the university here after I graduated from school. I did live in Westcott itself for a good many years, say from 1970 to uh, 1986. Because of the turmoil of the 60s, people started moving out um, to the suburbs, principally to Wynn or Fayetteville. So what that did was to open up a number of houses as rental opportunities. And the housing, in terms of rents, was cheap. And you also had a bunch of people who had gone either to SU or Lemoyne that chose to stick around. And you also had a number of institutions that sprang up to serve that group of people. The West Side Nation has come to mean uh, uh, people interested in social justice and alternative lifestyles and uh, tremendous diversity and well, it's like back to the 60s, what the hippies were. There used to be a place on Westcott Street called the Westcott Cafe, and everybody who was similarly like-minded would go in there Sunday morning, have bagels, and uh, read the Sunday Times, and uh, there were always a very diverse group of people in there, in, including um, the transgender, gay, uh, lesbian population, uh, mental health population, artists, musicians, uh, everyone was accepted. Nobody ever got excluded. A lot of people are really into music, art, riding bikes, um, and having fun, which is nice. People try to be pretty open-minded around here, and I think it shows. Personally, I think, uh, Syracuse on the whole needs to be a little more like Westcott. It's like families mixed in with like college kids, and then you got your occasional, you know, miscreants running around, but there's few and far between. Other than that, it's nice. You, uh, obviously, things change. Um, if you're talking about 1970 to now, that's a 40 year sweep. Uh, you, you have situations where the neighborhood's been up and down, whatever. Um, at this point, I would certainly view it as an up phase. Because, as I said, we can debate who coined it, but there's no question that that phrase started being spread around in general. Things have been down pretty 